Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Battle Revolution, The Last of Us, and this is the final battle of my first Uber team that I made. It is a generic Uber team, the way I think that they should be used in a non-noob fashion. You all know the drill, so um, as you can see I have a shinier equation, but the reason it is black is because uh, this one stayed in the ozone layer for too long and you know got sunburned and stuff, and that is why it got crisp black like that. So. Checking my opponent's team, they have some semi-Uber stuff, I mean they have Groudon and Dialga, which are two Ubers, Salamence was the 4th gen Uber as well, and um, the three starters, which are very adept in combat and have taken Ubers out in the past, I imagine, so uh, I guess this is all in all a very interesting battle to watch. Now, the reason I'm sending out Rayquaza is so I can um, get rid of obvious Groudon's appearance, you know, and uh, it's obvious sun setup. So if anything like that is to happen, I will just foil it. So um, there we go. Groudon is on the field, gets the sun up, and Rayquaza just negates everything possible. But ladies and gentlemen, Rayquaza cannot stay for long while intimidated because it cannot do a lot of things, and I do not, I repeat, do not want to face that Salamence while uh, I'm paralyzed. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave of Groudon because I can. Yeah! So what I want to do here is I want to go for Gravity and uh, ruin the potential, no, the obvious earthquake that my opponent is going to send against me this turn. So um, what I'm going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is um, Groudon will obviously go for an earthquake and uh, maybe a fire punch on Mewtwo, you just never know. But um, the gravity, in case of an earthquake, will ruin Salamence as well, and it will be caught in the blast, and it will do some extra damage that I really, really need to do. On. So, we're waiting for me to switch out, waiting for my opponent to pick moves and stuff and whatnot. This is what I miss about editing videos and leaving annotations, and we just get cut to the chase and uh, not waste your precious time. But like I said, if you have some chow, some Thai food, some some pita, some you know, some kebabs or something like that, and you just want ten minutes to uh, you know to chow down quickly, uh, having takeout and stuff, watching PBR battles and generally PokeTuber stuff is the best way to go. That's what I do. I watch Henry Zed's videos when I own a uh, takeout. So, speaking of uh, takeout, I'm gonna switch out Rayquaza and send in my god, my bug god, ladies and gentlemen. This is the god of all. Bugs and um, Arceus bug is something that you have never seen before. People do not use this thing at all. And in Gen 4, at least, it was very, very adept. It could take care of threats like Mewtwo uh, and Darkrai because uh, a stab judgment does a lot of damage. So, uh, bug type judgment, that is, and that is what I have here. So, obvious earthquake was obvious. Uh, bug type Arceus resists the earthquake. And um, so does Mewtwo, it takes an AK. Salamence also took an AK, he's got to put an extra damage on it. So, um, what I'm going to do here is. I'm going to go for the Psychic or Groudon. You know, just to bring it to a range where I can kill it with my obvious Blizzard, because this is the only move I have right now to kill stuff. And this battle is kind of dedicated to Arceus because it is the master of bug types. Ladies and gentlemen, Arceus bug. Um, if it wasn't for the stats, I don't think it would be Uber. It would be maybe OU. It would be very common to use. And, you know, it is a very fun Pokemon to use. Ladies and gentlemen, I highly recommend in the Uber tier for you guys to use Bug Type Arceus because you will meet Mewtwo, you will meet Darkrai, and it is a perfect check. So, um. So I'm waiting for my opponent to pick their moves, and uh, you know this takes a little long on my opponent's side because I'm battling. I think I'm battling a rookie here. I'm not pretty sure, but oh well. What can you do? You gotta be patient, can you? Can you not? That's up to you. So, uh, okay, here goes. So I go for the psychic on Groudon just to get a bit of damage. There is no special investment on it whatsoever, but Groudon does not take it well. And I'm going to go for the blizzard, and I'm like, what? I have a gravity up, how can I miss? But they both have Yachi Berries, which is crazy. Why would you have Yachi Berries? So, um, Salamence, yeah, I get it. So, Salamence will not take it well at all, because, come on, Salamence is weak four times to it, and it already has some damage on it, and Salamence just dies. 
but uh, my opponent goes for a very weak Maui eruption, and that gave away my opponent. Um, I'm battling a rookie concerning PBR here because, you know, they have Earthquake and they also pack Eruption, which means that this must be definitely an in-game Groudon. And it has sp some special investment because maybe my opponent used it to level grind and got all types of uh, EVs mixed up in the, you know, in the Groudon. And uh, that is why he might have been able to take my blizzard that well, because, you know, Groudon's special defenses are not that great. So, anyway. Nonetheless, he's uber. Uh, but in terms of physical uh, stats. So, I want to see what my opponent might be bringing out here. I'm like, will they bring a... Um, uh, will I be seeing a Dialga, maybe? I don't know. So, in comes Sceptile, and I'm like, oh, this is my perfect opportunity. But, um, my past self was not that smart, because after I sustained that burn, uh, at the, um, you know, last summer, I was like, what, um, I don't think I was paying attention to what I was doing. I should have gone for a, um, what do you call it? Uh, I should have gone for a Psychic to finish off the crowd on. But maybe I thought that I had other plans for that. So I went for a uh, Thunder Wave just in case it is uh, choice scarf or something. You never know what your opponent might pack. And especially in-game teams are more unpredictable than ever. Because, you know, your opponent uh, has some items and they, they can actually be weird like that. I once faced a choice scarf. Uh, Sceptile, and when I got the friend pass, I saw that it was indeed Scarfed, because not only Sceptile is insanely fast, but um, a choice Scarf set is ridiculous. And it can do some damage if you do not um, if you do not pay too much attention to it. So, uh, again, we're waiting for my opponent to pick moves. Ah, three minutes of this battle have gone wasted just for waiting on my opponent for them to pick moves. But anyway, um, the reason I went for bug type judgment is because you know it is Arceus and I'm going to show how awesome and how amazing judgment is on your opposing Pokemon I mean I'm dead serious judge type Arceus a judgment bug type Arceus on your opponents that are weak to it is devastating so I go for the Thunder Wave I don't know why I went for Thunder Wave and then for a um, for a judgment but here it goes ladies and gentlemen judgment has been dealt there it is. Yeah, I, I like hearing that. So, um, a demonstration of Bug-type Arceus' power here, ladies and gentlemen. It is freaking amazing. It has already killed two of my opponents. And Dragon Claw comes in. Why not Fire Punch? Which can only mean that my opponent did not have enough BP to go and teach Fire Punch at the move tutor. Uh, possibly in Hot Gold Soul Silver, this um, Groudon was. I'm not pretty sure. But it looks like a um, Diamond version. I'm not sure. Uh, you can actually predict your opponent's Pokemon just by, uh, you know, the game cartridge, just by the Pokemon they have in uh, their teams, but, you know, it's... It, it, you just never know. The possibilities are, you know, one in a million. And um, we're waiting on our opponent again to pick the final Pokemon, and we'll have to wait again for them to, you know, switch out something. But, all in all, we're just a brick in the wall. So, finally my opponent switches into Dialga that I expected to see, but not this late. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go for the Psychic. Will I go for the Psychic? Come on past me, go for the Psychic. No, I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave, just in case, you know. I don't know why, but... Uh, I don't know why I'm wasting so much time. So, anyway, I go for the setup, and my opponent decides to give up here. Which is something commendable because I do have Rayquaza, I did have my Deoxys with me, and my opponent would have had a horrible time facing me. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, this was the battle. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.